So I'm going to try to keep this short and sweet so we can get back to our day. But um, very unfortunate news. President Trump and the First Lady tested positive for COVID. This acted as a negative notion to the overall market due to the uncertainty. Of course, our president being sick is not a good sign, right? So it makes sense on why it's, it caused the market to sell off. Uh, to put it in very simple terms, what does this mean for the overall market? Just like myself and many other people, uh, if you're a long-term investor, normally you would want to buy the dip. One of the things that I just want to share with you, and please you share your opinion down in the comment section, is COVID, especially due to his age, they don't do very well. Obviously, he's going to have the best people around him in the world to make sure that he gets the best care possible. That's, that's fine, right? But if he does end up showing signs of getting worse, uh, the market will only continue to tank. So uh, I am all for buying the dip, right? Especially for long-term plays, not for penny stocks, not for ETFs, even though those are the things that I day trade, but for long-term plays. And we can see that if we look at forward slash NQ, this did cause the market to sell off. Tesla, Apple, Facebook, everything. It, it pulled back. It not only gave what we gained yesterday. I mean, yesterday I had a $4,000 day. Uh, I held, right? Obviously, I'm invested in Apple and Tesla, and that played a decent part. And today we gave it all back and then some. And that's fine, right? But we must understand how COVID works, you know, the two week quarantine period and how obviously, you know, people don't actually begin to show symptoms uh, even later throughout that time. So uh, there's so many different circumstances. People react to this virus in so many different ways. Uh, I would say that he's most likely in good hands. The only unfortunate sign that he had really has against them is his age. Uh, but again, just like anyone, we really hope that they make it through. All I wanted to share in this video is that you know, if you're trading with too much money or if you're invested with too much money and you can't tolerate this pullback, then that's a that's a you know red flag right away that you're trading or investing with too much right away, right? What I want to prepare myself for is if things do begin to get worse for the next two weeks, uh, then why buy now, right? I, I'm all for maybe adding a little bit more to my position size, but because we know based off of a very general understanding of how people can begin to show more severe symptoms later throughout the two week quarantine period. Uh, I think that once that information begins to be shared, it only makes sense that the market can continue to drop even more and more and more. Um, again, so those are my two cents. I just wanted to make sure that you guys don't just think that this is a buy the dip and it's we're, we're for sure gonna find a support here and recover right away. There is uncertainty because you know we still don't have a vaccine for this. Obviously he is in good hands, uh, but there's just a lot of questions and it, a lot of those questions um, you know stand behind the idea of his age so uh, we wish him of course nothing but the best uh, I just wanted to update you guys on kind of what it is that I you know planned on doing the market's been kind of choppy I mean the market uh, right as the market opened began to aggressively push up it became overbought we had a great live trading session with the learn plan profit group and right around 7 to 7 30 we began to see a change of direction and we saw sqs recover uh which goes up when the market goes down and now we're a little bit more on the oversold side so now we're on the oversold side this would make sense on why we could find a potential support here so this is why now i'm paying attention to tqqq i did not do i, I was actually down so if you were part of the uh, learn plan profit live trading session i was actually down on sqs uh, because I bought as it was selling off because there was a quick change of direction. This thing was pushing up and as soon as the market opened and then began to sell off again. Uh, first off, I don't perform the best on Fridays, but on top of that, uh, my position size wasn't anything crazy, so I just was fine with it. And again, this is what I wanna share with you guys. When there's a lot of uncertainty, when there's a lot of inconsistencies, you could either not trade or be more selective. You know, watch that position size. It's not about a make it or break it. It's you want to be both effective and efficient. You want to find that balance, right? And I just feel like that when I'm fully invested in a position and there's unclear direction, I become very emotional and I become very uncontrollable. And that's not a good position to be in, especially when the market might not be uh, be going in uh, your favor. So I didn't do too hot with. SQQQ, I was able to make back what I lost, uh, but it wasn't anything significant. So I completely closed out my position. You might be asking Ricky, why would he close out your position? Well, SQs just pushed up very aggressively. So now it's very overbought. Can it continue to uptrend? Of course, the market can continue to sell off, especially if we receive more unfortunate news of President Trump getting more sick than he was before, or more people in his team, again, 
testing positive for this virus. So just make sure you take that into consideration. With that idea, it is so overbought that I don't want to touch SQs anymore. And if I do get back into it, it would be with a very small position size if it begins to indicate signs of higher highs and higher lows. Now, I'm paying attention to the inverse ETF, which is TQs. This is not something that I want to hold overnight, especially as the overall market is tanking due to this unfortunate news of President Trump testing positive for COVID. This thing can only get worse, right? Because this thing follows the market. So if the market goes up, then this goes up. If the market goes down, then of course this drops. And as we all know, things can get worse, especially due to his age. I do see a reversal opportunity, but we got to make sure that we stay patient. I'm going to set my alerts on this one <clears throat> and make sure that we enter when it makes sense. One of the best trades that sometimes you can take is not taking one at all, especially if you don't have proper confirmation of the overall direction being in your favor. The last thing that I want to say is if you're an investor and you're going long on a position and this pullback, you know, is, is scaring you just think big picture. This is very unfortunate news, but just like how you felt yesterday on top of the world when the market was up, this is part of the game. This is pulling back. And yes, this is pulling back more than the market gained yesterday, but it's very unfortunate news and it can get worse. So if you are uncontrollable, then maybe think about you know your position size and how you can maybe reduce it or just tolerate it a little bit more. So I just wanted to share my two cents with you both on the day trading side and on the investing side and why I think is bound to happen with the market in the next couple of weeks. So uh, I'm very excited to follow up. We wish nothing but the best for the Trump family and hopefully they can have a speedy recovery. So let me know down in the comment sections what you guys think. I'm excited to follow up with it. What plan do you have in place? Are you going to buy now? buying the dip or are you going to wait because you think uh, you think things can get worse before they get better i'm very excited to follow up with you guys uh, i hope that we earned your thumbs up don't forget to stay connected we do run a completely free facebook group and if you guys want to join that facebook group that is that first link down below if you guys want to watch me trade live as soon as monday that's that second link down below and of course i only exclusively trade live with the learn plan prof group so if you want to learn a little bit more about that click the second link down below and we'll see you on monday at market open until then, we'll see you on the next one. Take it easy, team.